Yeah, I was, I, I was definitely, you know, I was, I was never the most talented player in any 11, I don't think, you know, I'm, and I'm not saying that immodestly, you know. Um, what I was good at was reading the game. Um, I was very quick um, and, and I was very fit and pretty strong, I think. So I played to my strengths, you know, I was able to read the game well and anticipate. And as a defender, I think that's a really important skill. And I guess you take those skills then out in normal life or wider life um, more generally. You know, I think the principle of working hard for clear goals is really important to me. You know, I've always been ambitious um, in my career, but not so much for me. You know, I've never really seen anything I've done in my career as about me. Um, it's been about what I can contribute to the organisations that I care about. That's been obviously in the higher education sector to the universities, but also to Sport Wales and to the Football Association of Wales. And now I hope um, I'm already involved with UEFA, but I hope take, to take that to another level with FIFA. It's, it's the supreme uh, decision-making body of the biggest global federation there is. But FIFA is in charge of all aspects of the governance and strategy and uh, execution of the game. I mean, clearly there's a debate to be had about how much power the clubs have, certainly the biggest clubs, you know, the Real Madrid's and the Bayern Munich's and the Juventus and Manchester United's have in shaping the future of the game. But if we're talking about the game in the biggest sense, then this is the collection of all the nations, all the member associations, over 200 of them, and the Council of FIFA is then the decision-making body of that organisation. So clearly it's got enormous importance because it covers football all the way from Africa to West Wales, um, and it, it's in charge of every aspect of it. So it's a great opportunity for me to make a contribution to how the game is governed.